when you download photos and documents from websites or your email or something like that, do you know where it's going? Do you get frustrated having to move things from your downloads folder to another folder to keep organized? Most people don't know that there's a way to fix that. I'll show you how to change your download settings in Microsoft Edge today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm a tech and productivity trainer and the owner of Gateway Productivity. Today, I'll show you how to change your download settings in Microsoft Edge. Now, a lot of people don't realize that this is something they can change or even what this means. So let's say you are in an email on a website or maybe you're in Facebook, wherever you are and you want to download something. So taking something, a picture, a document, those are usually, usually it's a PDF or a photo and you're wanting to download that, which means putting it on your computer. The default way that Microsoft Edge does this is it puts it in a downloads folder. And a lot of people don't know where that is and they don't know that you can make a change to that. It's a lot easier to be more organized on your computer when you determine where your downloads save. So there is a setting in Microsoft Edge that lets you determine that. It, you can either change where the downloads are going automatically, or you can change it to ask you every time, which is what I prefer and what I'll show you today. First, I'll show you what's probably currently happening in your Microsoft Edge when you download something. So what I have done is I'm in Outlook email on a website, not the Outlook on your computer. And I have this email here and I would like to download this picture. So what you would normally do is you would click this little down arrow and then you would choose to download it. And what happens is it automatically downloads and you can see it right here. It shows this is the little download symbol and it shows that it's in your downloads. So you can open the folder here and get to it, but then you would have to move it if you want to keep it somewhere else. So that can be really inconvenient if you're someone who uses a folder structure on your computer and wants to keep organized. Now I'll show you briefly where that download went on your computer. You can always go to your little shortcut here or to the start menu and to this guy right here. It looks like a little folder in a vertical file and it's called File Explorer. You can go there. And then here under this PC, you'll see Downloads. And that is where it went. You can see it right here. If that's the only information you needed is where things are saving on your computer, then you're good to go now. But for those who don't want things to save here and you want to choose each time something is downloaded, I'll show you how to make that change. To get to your settings in Microsoft Edge, you'll go to the three dots in the upper right corner right here. And you're gonna go almost all the way down to the settings option right here. That's gonna open a new tab. You see up here, a new tab opened. So don't let that confuse you. And then we're gonna go on the left-hand side about midway down to downloads. And so I'm gonna move my picture and now you can see the options available to you. Here, the first one, you can change the actual location of your downloads. Unless you want all of your downloads to always go to the same place, I wouldn't mess with this. I would instead do ask me what to do with each download. So we're going to click that button and it'll turn blue. That's what we're looking for. And I wouldn't worry about this last one. Leave it as it is. And it auto saves. So there's nothing more that we need to do here. You can now close this tab at the top and then it'll bring you back to where you were. In this case, it's our email. And now we're gonna try this download one more time and see what changed. We're gonna do the same steps. We'll click on this, choose to download. This time you see it opens a little item right here that says, what do you want to do with this? I can choose to open it directly or the option to save as, and if I click the little arrow, there's save. So here's the difference. Save as, you choose the location where you want it to go. So that's why that's the primary one. That's the one that's not hidden by the little arrow. Save as lets you choose your location. If you click save, it's gonna automatically go to downloads. So we want to save as, then it pops up our normal window to determine where we want to save this. 
In this case today, I want to put it on my desktop. So I'll choose my desktop and I will save that. And now I can go to the desktop and show you here it is, the saved picture. As I said earlier in the video, some people may just need to know where their items are downloading. And so it's going to your downloads folder and I showed you where you can find that. If you're someone who doesn't use a folder structure, that might be the easiest thing for you. If you don't download very often, you can just put things in your downloads and know that they're there. However, if you're someone who likes to be neat and orderly on your computer and you have a folder structure you'd like to use, then you'll probably want to make this change that we looked at. Either option is just fine as long as you know your process in advance. So think about this before you make the change. Is this something that's going to frustrate you to have to save it every single time to a specific location? Then you might not want to do this. You want to know that things are in your downloads. But if you would like to have the opportunity to save to a specific location each time, then you'll want to make sure you click that button and make this change in the settings. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. That helps me determine what I'm going to do for videos in the future. You can also leave questions in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can on those. You can also give the video a thumbs up or you could share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And be sure to subscribe using the red button below. You will then see a bell icon. If you click on that, you'll receive notifications each week when the new videos are posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.